Hello and welcome to a new video with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I'm going to talk about a color grading software called 3D LUT Creator. I use the software to create presets for my color lookup adjustment in Photoshop and also to color grade images or just make color corrections in general. I uh, hope you will enjoy it and let's get started. So this video is just to show you the basic um, the basic features that this program has and uh, show you some of the stuff that you can do with it. Um, as I said, I use it uh, to create uh, color um, presets for Photoshop, but I, uh, you can also use this to create um, color grades lookup tables for, for movies if you uh, create uh, video clips and stuff like that. So um, this is the software. Uh, basically, when you open an image, um, you will have it on the right side. And here on the left, you have all the tools that you need to uh, to edit it. And here on the top, you can see these tabs, channels, volume, A, B, C, L, curves, and uh, all of these um, icons here. Uh, you can do some pretty advanced stuff with this software. So it's not uh, the easiest software that you're going to use, but it's really powerful. You can create some really awesome uh, things with it. So I'm going to show you the basics of this. So as I said, when you open an image, you have it like this. And I'm going to start with the channels. When you click that, uh, you will see this color shape here. So basically what you would do with this is just click on this point here and change this. You can see how you can change the colors. Um, just click and drag these points around and you can create all sorts of tones. And just like this, just with this simple change, I could save this as a LUT file and use it in Photoshop. And in fact, there's a little button here on the bottom that says LUT to PS. And basically what you, when you click that, it's gonna take this into Photoshop and it's, it's gonna add a color lookup adjustment in Photoshop with this setting over here. And you can save that and use it on any, any photo that you want. And here we have more settings, we have quite a few settings here with lots of information. I'm not gonna go into this. Uh, as I said, this is just going to be a basic overview of the software. Let's go into the volume. Here we have uh, a similar shape here. We can change uh, the luminosity of the of the, of the the image. Let's leave this uh, back to the default. By the way, if you click this button, you will see it in pretty much all the tabs here. Uh, when you click it, it's gonna reset that particular uh, tool. Let's go into the volume. As I said here, you can change, you can see the luminosity of the colors. And the great thing about this software is that it's not creating uh, it's not going to create um, artifacts on your image, so you can make some really um, dramatic changes without seeing uh, your image degraded. Let's do something weird like this, baby. And saturate that a little more. Let's go into the AB. Here what we can do is saturate or shift colors. You can see we have a grid here with lots of points and we can increase the amount of points here and we can uh, increase this and if you if you need more precision you can increase this. When you click a point and move it around for example uh, let's change the greens. Uh, also you can see that when I'm moving, moving across the image you can select you can see the points highlight here which indicates where where you on this grid. So for example if I click here and move this around I can saturate this and I can, I can also change. So if you move away from the center, you're gonna saturate the image. And if you move uh, towards the center, you're gonna desaturate that color. But you can also, it changes the whole grid. So I can shift the colors and create something like that. If you right click, you will reset that point. Now you can also lock the rest of the points and just move that one. Just click pin all and you will only move that uh, point that you selected. Um, with right click, you, you will unpin it, so you can unpin your points here and move them all at once, the ones that you unlocked, and create, um, for example, if, if I just want to move the greens, I can unlock the greens and move those ones. You can also change to this um, other shape here. Let's uh, switch back to 8 and expand this a little bit. So, um, for example, I can shift the greens, uh, let's, un let, let's unpin all and reset. And I can move, for example, the whole greens towards that side over there. And um, maybe this one's over here. And my blues, I want them to be more, I don't know, more yellowish, for example. And 
you can create this. You can also uh, see the before and after. You can compare this and you can see the before and after on, on your image or go from here to view, show and just uh, decide, um, deactivate compare. I would like to have the, those buttons here to be able to change the view. Now there's an, uh, an update of this version. Uh, I don't know if they included that, but um, this is what you can do with this. Also, you can randomize this. Um, if you press Control Command R, you can randomize this and create all sorts of looks. You can see like this, and it gonna, it's gonna change the shape like this. And and if you don't have this preset in Photoshop, just click here, lot to PS, and it's gonna bring that into Photoshop. Now, I updated my Photoshop version, and I don't know if it's gonna work, because I also have to update uh, 3D Lot Creator to, um, to be able to communicate with Photoshop. Um, if you want to save this as a file and have it on your own folder or use it on another software, what you can do is go to File, choose Export, and choose, uh, you can send it to Photoshop, or uh, you can send it to Photoshop with a custom name, or you can export the LUT file, and you can see you have several names. You can, and Photoshop uses Cube and 3DL, also uh, I think some other, but um, you can uh, export in this supported formats and use it on other software, like for example, After Effects or um, Final Cut Pro. And let's move on to the CL, for example. Um, this is another cool feature which allows you to change the colors, the luminosities and uh, change, it's like the color balance in Photoshop maybe. And uh, here you have these two grids. Um, again, you can pin all the points and just move the ones that you need, or you can pin the neutrals and keep the grays in place. And you can see this is the histogram. It's a weird histogram, it's not like in Photoshop. Let's reset everything. I'm gonna go to file and choose a new preset, reset all. And now here on the CL, you can see these changes. And for example, on the greens, I wanna change the greens. I can click here and move this around and you can see how it changes. Uh, if you move down, you're gonna drop the lightness. And if you move up, you're gonna increase the luminosity of that color. And if you move towards the center, uh, you're gonna shift, well, actually you can see the grid changing and you can shift the greens towards that uh, magenta over there. As I said, you can pin the neutrals and just change part of this and do maybe stuff like that. And you can also change the colors. If you don't want that, you can change the axis and you can see that the color changes and you can uh, modify that from here. Here you cannot randomize this, so you cannot make random changes to that and um, you cannot do that, but you can still make some great changes. Now here you can make some advanced stuff, uh, stuff with this, but uh, um, this is what you can do. Uh, curves is just like in Photoshop, but uh, except we have two. The bottom one is the curves that you usually have in Photoshop. Uh, we have the RGB, red, green, and blue. So if you want to increase the contrast, you can do it that way. Or you can go to the channels and change, uh, change the look of your image from the channels. Let's uh, undo that. But on top of that, you also have uh, this other curves uh, here on top. And here you can change, as you can see, the luminance. Uh, you have saturation, uh, saturation and luminance, luminance and saturation, and saturation, saturation. And from here you can, for example, let's go on luminance. You can change the luminance of, uh, of well, of your image, of your, of your tones here. But you can also change saturation and luminance. So uh, you can do stuff like this and just change uh, change your image like that and it's gonna give you a lot of control on modifying your uh, when modifying your image okay so you can see my um, my histogram is here so the changes that I'm gonna do here is not gonna make too much it's not gonna take too much effect on that so uh, as you can see this is what you can do here you can randomize this as well um, with control command R you you're gonna randomize but only the bottom one so the top one cannot be randomized I'm going to reset here. Let's go to the 2D curve. This is really fun. Um, here you have the same thing, but we have set, uh, split this in channels. And for example, um, pressing Control Command R works here, so you can randomize stuff here and you can create all sorts of uh, weird looks for your image. And basically what you, what you do is just um, change the colors of your image. If you move this up, if the, you move your points up, you're gonna add light and you can shift the colors just like, well, as you can see here. Um, 
just create weird looks on your image. Pressing Control Command Z on your keyboard will undo your edit. So again, here I can pin neutrals and keep my neutrals locked and just, um, I don't know, maybe I wanna give my greens a different tone. Let's leave that there. For example, something like that. You can also work with masks. Here have a mask table um, tab and from here you can do some really advanced stuff. You can create masks based on luminance. Uh, here you can choose, uh, for example, masks based on color. So you can apply settings and mask them based on the color that you have. You can also, you can see I have a list with a huge amount of uh, things here you, which you can use as a mask. So um, you can mask things based on several, um, on different kinds of um, settings that you have here. So um, basically that's uh, what you can do with this, uh, with this software. As I said, you can do some real advanced stuff, uh, stuff with it. One other cool thing what you, uh, you can do in the pro version is uh, color match images and that's really awesome. Let me show you that. I'm gonna open a new image first. I'm gonna reset everything and I'm gonna open a new image. I'm gonna open this one. This is from Game of Thrones. Uh, it's just a screenshot. I hope I don't have any copyright problems. Um, and then I, you have to open a reference image. So this is the image that I wanna grade. And let's say I have a, another movie that I like the color grading on it and I wanna uh, match this to, to the other image. So what you do is just go to file and choose load reference image. This is gonna be my reference. This is from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm gonna go to image, view, show, and I wanna show compare. Now if I want to color match this one and make it look like this one, like the one on the right, I can go to edit and choose auto match colors to reference. Now let's wait for a second and you'll open this dialog box and here you can change different uh, methods for um, matching this. Um, by default average is selected but you can change this to mid max or well choose any of the methods here and then you can uh, change this you can see you have both um, uh, both color grades here and this is your source and this is the reference now here you have a few settings which you can use to color match this so the way you do this is just moving the sliders and uh, see what it does on your image and you can see you have several methods and several uh, settings which you can use and you can change uh, here the models and just uh, try and find the best one uh, to suit your image and you can see it does a pretty good job uh, here on the compare you can see the before and after and so we started from this and we ended up with this and I think it looks pretty pretty close to this one uh, keep in mind that uh, this will depend of course on on the image for example a daylight image outdoors will not look the same as this one because this is an indoor image and you can see it's pretty dark so uh, try to color match uh, images that are pretty close in terms of um, in terms of the scene itself so um, I'm gonna cl uh, close this I'm gonna click OK and well once you um, color match this you can uh, of course go to file and export this or save it or go to Photoshop with it and do whatever you want. So this is just a quick view of 3D LUT Creator. As I said, it's really powerful. You can create some real advanced stuff with it. Uh, take a look on it. And if you have a particular question, if you wanna ask something about it, go ahead and post a comment on YouTube or on my website. And I'm trying to go into more depth on it and show you how to, how to do stuff uh, with this software. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.